actually for me, I went to a CCA orientation just now. Look what the Red Cross youth gave me. It's so cute. I think it's a notepad. I think I'll be putting Red Cross as my first choice. It was so interesting. After listening to your YABP program, I shared it with my parents and they seemed so interested. So I think they'll be going to donate blood soon. No, there definitely isn't enough blood donors. I recall my senior said just now, only 2% of the Singapore's population donated blood in 2019. They said, if only one more percent of the Singapore's population donated blood, the blood shortage would be gone. Especially with the Singapore's aging population, we definitely need more blood donors. No, you're not allowed to. Um, actually, right, my sister had her second shot of Moderna recently, and she went to donate blood. But actually, we're not allowed to donate blood if we were vaccinated within one week, even though you have no symptoms. This is to ensure that this is to protect us, actually. So my sister was temporarily deferred, and she was told to come back after her one week was up. So if you want to donate blood, maybe you can wait till your one week is over. <laughs> oh, actually, the staff encouraged us to intake a balanced diet, including iron-rich food. But since your iron levels are already low, you definitely need to intake more iron-rich food. Perhaps such as dark green leafy vegetables, such as spinach, or red meat, such as pork. This is to ensure that your hemoglobin level meets the required amount of 12.5 gram per deciliter. This is to ensure that you can donate blood safely.